The deputy president has asked all agencies responsible for the management of water catchment areas to come up with a clear roadmap on how to protect such areas besides enhancing the country's forest cover. The nation, the deputy president said, should not condone pollution of water sources, especially situations where sewage waste is directed into streams, rivers and lakes harming many lives. Conservation and restoration of our water towers and greater attention to the dynamics of the rain cycles. We must therefore achieve the imperative envisioned in the constitutional mandate by aligning the obligations to observe intergenerational equity, rapidly enhance national forest cover, focus on sustainable development and prioritize protection of our environment. The environment, Ruto said, remains the bedrock of the country's development since every sector of the economy depends on it and therefore must be guided as successful implementation of Big Four agenda, manufacturing, food security, health and housing largely depends on the availability of water. Charges are levy for all the water that is consumed in every part of Kenya. And that levy must be used to manage the entire ecosystem of water availability and provision. We will not have water in our pipes. You will have no water to distribute. There will be no water to harvest if our catchment areas are not taken care of. WASPA is expected to continue supporting WSPs in implementation and achieving their collective objective of providing quality and affordable water services to Kenyans. The deputy president said the perennial cycles of serious droughts, floods, drying of rivers, wells, springs, and lowering of water table are attributed to the twin effects of climate change and destruction of forests, urging the county and the national government to set aside resources to protect the environment. As the government continues to make milestones in ensuring that Kenyans can access clean water from 40% in 2002 to 60% in 2018, water regulatory bodies have their work clearly cut out in ensuring that the government's goal, that of having 80% of Kenyans access clean water, is achieved by 2022. For Channel 1 News, I'm Gladys Mungai.